Hello everyone, my name is Christian Nicolescu and today I will present you how to do an automation with Freshdesk. Yeah? So, from UAPAD Go, you download the connector for Freshdesk and then you install it on UAPAD Studio. To install it on UAPAD Studio, you go to Manage Package, all the packages, write Freshdesk and you have here the Freshdesk connector. You hit install and then you will see that here under UAPAD team, we will have around 40, 30, 40 activities. Yeah? These activities allow you to work with agents, companies, contacts, email groups, ticket. You can create ticket download. You can um, you can create conversations for a ticket. You can work with time entries. But to start the connection, you need to drag and drop a fresh desk application scope. Yeah, on this fresh desk application scope, you will configure a REST API connection. So you'll put the username and password, or you'll put the API, the, the token. To get the token from your um, fresh desk interface you go here on the profile and you'll see that here you have an api token yeah that you can use but it's your decision how you want to connect good and you need also the endpoint the endpoint is here so it's the beginning of the link in my case it's uapad service freshdesk.com good after you configure everything on uapad studio like this you can test the connection and I have a live connection for the development here. Let's get some tickets, yeah, first. So I will use to get tickets list. I'll drag and drop the, the command. Then here I have, if I run the command like this, I will get all the tickets. And I can configure. I can say that I want what I want. I want the subject of the ticket. I want, the, here it's a double click. I want the source of the ticket. Let's see. So this is the source and this is the subject. Let's see if we have description. Description, description, and description, description, and description text. Uh, let's see what else uh, we will have on, uh, on this ticket, yeah? So I have status, um, type, priority, and so on. So basically you configure um, what you want, you hit save, and uh, then you can put here the parameters, yeah? If, uh, in my case, I don't select any parameters. If I want to select, for example, it was, um, let's see, let's say that I want only the ticket number 12, yeah? So I can say here, ticket 12. And here, return only the ticket 12. If I hit save, here, I will provide him, I can provide him a variable for this parameter. Okay, well, I also can order, so let's remove this one and let's say that I want to order by status, yeah? So everything will be ordered by status, yeah? Then I can order this and that if I want. I want to see only the tickets, let's remove the order, and I want to see only the tickets that are in spam. I don't have tickets that are in spam. Or deleted tickets. Um, new and open and so on. I can sort from the email. I can do a lot of stuff, but that's the idea. You can configure here all the filters that you want. You can search on the filters like this and uh, then you'll configure from the information. You configure what you want on the layout. You have everything, uh, all the fields here and uh, on the fields you have also description what means each field. Okay. So this is the way how you get data from from your instance now if you want to put data for example if you want so you will have a de de dedicated video for the tickets but let's uh, show how to put the data so you are able to add a ticket like this you will ask for mandatory parameters and the mandatory parameters are subject let's say test uh, rest api email uh, which you can put here an email like this uh, at email.com, status two, priority one, priority two, description, test email, yeah? And I can run it from here, yeah? And this will go to the uh, REST API. And um, if we take a look now on the Freshdesk uh, interface, you will see that I have a new ticket. Test REST API with all my details, yeah? I can also revert the command because I don't want to uh, to keep this comment uh, there. Okay, good. 
if I want more parameters, I will have here an example with all the parameters that I can, I can set. Uh, also, you can uh, say, put with attach, you can have attachments on the ticket and you will select the file. You can download all the attachments. Uh, if you have complex um, uh, commands, you can find the JSON on the internet, put the JSON here and do what you want with uh, your endpoints from, uh, um, uh, from your um, Freshdesk. So that's the idea, you are able to control everything from, from Freshdesk um, via REST API, very easy from UiPath Studio. If you want to see other videos about uh, this and other implementation with ServiceNow, Salesforce, Zendesk, NetSuite and so on, follow me on the YouTube channel and um, you will find here a lot of videos. Also how to create a ticket and do a lot of stuff with the tickets in Freshdesk. Bye bye, have a good one.